Hello? Hey, is this Lou? Yes, speak up. Yeah, hi, this is uh, Sean Slauson calling. I talked to your uh, agent, and she said we could do an interview today. Interview. Sure. All right. Uh, yeah. it, it won't be that long of an inter- interview, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes, and, and then that'll be good. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Frankie Slauson Show, and today we're on episode number two of our of my Frankie's Icons of Pop Culture series. And, boy, do we got a big icon for you today. Uh, if you remember him from the original uh, Incredible Hulk show, I got with me the original Incredible Hulk himself, Mr. Lou Ferrigno. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. And uh, how how you been lately? Great. We're working, traveling. I'm a worldwide motivational speaker speaking. Um, just finished uh, last last season, Philippi Apprentice, and um, I couldn't be more busy than ever. Yeah, uh, when I talk to your agent, it seems like she's been uh, trying to get you uh, a lot of different appearances around the world anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's kind of just uh, talk about your, your life in general. If, if people don't know uh, who you are, I think they've been living under a rock for the last 30 or 40 years. Um, how did you get started and uh, what motivated you to uh, to become the Hulk? Well, when I was young at an early age, close to birth, I lost like 75% of my hearing. And you know, when I was a kid, I was like a real-life Walter Mitty. I just fantasized uh, about heroes, and I was very obsessed with power. So I used to read Hulk and comic books, and uh, because I knew that it gave me a lot of uh, a, ch- a great chance to escape. Then I discovered weight training, bodybuilding, and then I got involved in that. I started competing in competition, and then uh, I always, always wanted to be the, like Hulk growing up. And he was pretty much your, kind of like your big inspiration, I suppose, huh? Yeah. It was my whole life, and then uh, everything fell into place. And then uh, I was uh, winning uh, all the international competitions, and I got a phone call while I was competing. Uh, they had no audition for the Hulk, and I went down and I won the screen, the screen test. Oh, yeah, and I suppose so. Uh, once you got the role and everything, I, I suppose it, it was kind of amazing. That funny story how you how the Hulk comics kind of inspired you, but then all of a sudden now you're going to make the transformation to actually be the Hulk for the very first time in an actual TV show. Right. Yeah. That's great, man. Yeah. And I, I think that, and I think that's great. I mean, I think that's kind of a, kind of a, I don't know if you call it a, an omen or, or like a, just a, maybe a, a circle maybe or something like that where, you know, you're, you're motivated by something, then all of a sudden you become something. And, and I suppose uh, when you first started the, the show, you... Um, was it easy for you to fit in the character? Was it easy for me to do what? To to be to be the Hulk? Yeah, it became very natural uh, to me because uh, I showed a lot of sensitive, 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 I'm sorry, sensitivity through the makeup. And uh, the hardest thing was getting into the makeup for three and a half to four hours and then doing that makeup and being retouched all day long. So I would talk about at least 80 hours a week on the set. Oh, yeah, yeah. I suppose a lot of grueling hours, but... Uh, yeah. But yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm sure you had some fun moments too. I mean, I mean, the process of uh, when you're a character, of course, you know, nowadays with special effects, you don't really. I mean, there are still makeup and stuff like that, but I'm sure the the process is not as uh, long uh, to become that person rather than uh, than like how it used to be back in the, when you started. Well, today they had to do the makeup for take about just an hour compared <laughs> to three and three and a half to four hours. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then being the Hulk and everything, uh, you know that that kind of g- gave you that worldwide phenomenon. I mean, uh, you, you've been lifting weights, you've been uh, you've been acting in a lot of different shows. I actually I actually own the uh, King of Queens box, and I was really surprised uh, finding out that you actually were in that show. Yeah, for seven years I had to be coming well, and I was very happy to be on the show because I did a movie called The Godson. We were on a danger for you, and that they loved my performance, and they invited me to be on King of Queen. And then ever since then, they made me a, a permanent neighbor on the show, and I've been working on the show for years. And then after that, I did I Love You, Man. Yeah, and, and I, I've never seen a man, but I was really, I was really fond of the fact that you were part of the King of Queen because I thought that was a very hilarious show. And watching you work on a on a sitcom that doesn't have to do with just being a tough guy or anything, just being a, the neighbor and everything. I just thought, how cool is that uh, just uh, because you got to do that and uh, work with Kevin James and everything? 
Well, it, it, it was great because I had a chance to uh, play the character of the, that the guy trying to buy my house, and then uh, basically I wasn't happy with the situation, so they wrote the script to me, and I wrote the script, and the fact that the movie had to do romance and bromance. Oh, Can yeah. you hold on one second? got to close the front door. i got to call them. I'm not oh, sure. Them. Sure. All right. I, I just hit uh, the pause button, so that we're, we're good now. <laughs> okay. Oh. And... Uh, and then you, you also, like, what other shows and, and movies have you been a part of that uh, people don't know? Well, i got a movie coming out called The Liberator. It's, uh, it's about Asian superhero coming out this summer. But in the meantime, what we did last week, my new business online, what I want to talk about, called com. It's the first time online, globally, it's a 12-week training program where you can become your own personal thinker. A program called Incredibly, Incredibly Fit. You buy one package deal, and then you get customized meal plans. You, you become your own personal trainer anywhere in the world. Get workout routine, how to train your room, how to keep in shape. And this is something I've been wanting to do years. So this is something connection with me, and I think that's going to be the, my new picture. And uh, and you've done some stuff with Arnold Schwarzenegger before too, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I meet him from time to time. I mean, he puts competition sometimes. Uh, like recently, we were at Joe Weider's memorial. We buried uh, Joe Weider. Okay, yeah, because uh, I, I I think the, did you guys kind of inspire in a way, like work together when you guys were younger back in the day, or or was it until you got more older when you started doing stuff together? Well, we we were competitive back then. I mean, I see him maybe once a year, once in a while, but but uh, you know we have a lot of respect for each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's cool. Yeah, and uh, like I said, what other what other TV shows are that you've been prior to the the Hulk and the King of Queens? Some of your more well, notable roles. Well, I've done over thirty movies. If you look on IMDb, you'll see yeah, I've done many many different movies. And uh, you know, I've done three series. I've done the Hulk. I did Trauma Center. I did King of Queens. And I enjoy doing TV series. And I'm the part of reading different scripts now because I love to go back and do another sitcom. Do you think you enjoy TV more than movies, or vice versa? <laughs> it's different. Movie is different. Drama is slower. TV is more instant gratification in front of a live audience. I love doing both. But I'd rather do a sitcom because it's close to home. And uh, and I just I just love doing comedy. Oh yeah, and comedy is comedy is a good thing. I mean, I I like it when you know when, when they get people like uh, that can act really good uh, doing a, a sitcom. I'm actually watching a show now that uh, that was on CBS. That's still on CBS called Mike and Molly. And I I don't know if you ever heard that show or not, but it's a very funny show. Very funny show. Um, but but yeah. Other than that, uh, uh, I heard that you are also a motivational speaker, and and I'm pretty sure it's interesting when you tell your story to to a lot of other people that are probably either in the same situation or maybe even not in the same situation. How did you get inspired to become a, a motivational speaker? Well, when I was very young, I had difficulty talking in front of people. I was very shy, very introverted. But then I got to the point that I love talking in front of thousands of people, motivating people teaching them how to uh, embrace the fear factor to be successful. And, you know, the, the last eight years, I've been a certified deputy sheriff for the Los Angeles Sheriff Department. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. And uh, uh, let's see, what else can I ask you? Uh, when, when uh, Now that the, the, you've been the Hulk and everything, are you kind of surprised how, how the, uh, the Hulk character has evolved over, over the last 30 years? Yeah, because when I did the pilot, I, I was hoping that the show would become a series because it looked so great, it looked so good. But the little, I, little I realized that the legacy will continue for 40 years because many actors do TV series, they fade away. But now we have the movie, we have the, the adventures, and plus of all the work I've done in the fitness, and I'm just as popular as ever, and I'm very happy because now we have comic convention, we have uh, great superhero shows. I mean, it's incredible, I'm very thankful. I, I thank uh, God every day for having this opportunity to just still be part of it. Uh, I also remember seeing you uh, back, I think this is back in 2009, uh, you did a little thing for TNA Wrestling. Are you a pretty uh, big wrestling fan at all? or, or, or not, were, not, not really. Not really? I respect all the wrestlers, but I never watched wrestling. <laughs> okay, because I remember uh, you did a thing with Mick Foley anyway, where he came to your gym, or, and you guys did like a little, a little thing or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. I mean, uh, I, I seen Mickey. I see the big one, but I would follow the whole uh, trend of wrestling. But Mickey came to my house. I loved Mickey. I mean, that was so much fun, and uh, he's a very dear man. Yeah, and, and uh, it's kind of great uh, the fact that they finally put him in the Hall of Fame. 
uh, TNA or the WWE Hall of Fame finally. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So uh, do you have anything that you would like to promote at all uh, before we close this interview? Mainly for RickNoFit dot com. That uh, is online globally allowed. That 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 could be the getting a lot of attention social media. What I'm doing right now. Okay. Well, I, I just want to say thank you very much for letting me have this opportunity. Uh, I know it took a little while to, to get a hold of you and stuff like that, but uh, I do appreciate it. I mean, you are, you're definitely an inspiration to, to all of us, and it's not about how much money you got or how popular you are. It's just that you're a great guy, and you, you. You know, you're very welcome, and, and, and you're very you're very down to earth. You're not one of those type of people that, that think that their uh, crap don't stink, so to speak, you know? Thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, no problem, and uh, thank you for coming uh, on the Frankie Slauson Show, and thank you for being an icon of pop culture. Thank you. All right, man, you take care. Uh, Bye. And that was Lou Ferrigno right here on the Frankie Slauson Show, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Very, very nice guy. And a short interview, but he, you know, he, he definitely has a, a lot of things to do, so uh, so he's definitely busy. But uh, I'm going to put down his website. Uh, you can check it out on the link below. And uh, once again, th- uh, thanks to everybody who uh, listened, and thanks for the opportunity for uh, to well to Lou and his uh, agent for to uh, to get me into uh, the cha- or give me the chance to interview him, even if it's just for ten minutes. And sometimes with interviews, it doesn't have to be a long time to, to talk to somebody, especially if they're really busy and and they you know they don't talk a whole lot you know when they well, especially when they've given a lot of the same stories and everything. But anyway, I appreciate it and uh, well, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again for another great icon of pop culture, Frankie's icons of pop culture feature that's going to last all summer long. Thanks very much. Bye. <laughs>